Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Sandy. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm back with this makeup tutorial. I'm recreating the look that I had a few videos ago. Um, you guys wanted to see this look. I just changed a few products up um, because the first original palette that I did for that look was a Viseart um, matte palette and that one is kind of expensive so I wanted to go in with a cheaper alternative with the same kind of look the same brownie colors. I just wanted you guys to have a more affordable alternative. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So I'm going to go in with my Tatcha Chemist Primer. This one makes your skin feel really soft. While that's sitting, I'm going to go in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime my eyelids. And I have a nail that is missing. Um, I broke it yesterday. I was, you know how the glove department of your car, um, usually I throw a change in there. And it slammed on my fingernail and it broke it in half so I just took it out. So I'm going to go in with the Festival palette from Profusion. You guys wanted to see the look that I did um, from the last couple of videos. So I was going to recreate it with this Profusion palette because the palette that I originally had used um, was a VZR a neutral matte palette and it's kind of expensive so I wanted to show you guys how to do the same look but with an affordable eyeshadow palette because it's it's the same colors it's just like a um, smoky soft glam eye so I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to get my Sephora um, Pro Crease Brush this brush you guys is always on sale at Sephora um, I think original price is like 20 something and they always have it on sale for like 11 so I have a few of these so every time they have a sale I always buy like three or four because it's like so soft and it blends out like so seamlessly going with this color here and this one here I'm actually going to mix both of them and I'm going to put it in my inner crease and I'm going to take a Morphe um, M506 brush. Um, I like this one because you see how it's so small and precise. Like it gets right in that crack. I'm just mixing those two together and I'm just going to tap it in first. Because I feel like you get the most pigmentation when you tap it in. And then once, and then once you guys get that um, pigmentation that you want, just go ahead and start blending it. Go back with my Sephora crease brush and just blend it with no additional color. With a crease brush, and and I'm just gonna go in with this color here um, because that one's a little bit darker. And I'm going to take my uh, Morphe brush and I'm just going to go like this, you guys. And I'm going to put it on the outer corner, like right here. I'm going to tap the color in first. So I can get it darker on the outer V. And then once you get that, just kind of blend it in and kind of blend it, smoke it out. I'm going to go back with my Sephora brush and just blend it all out. Just blend it and then I kind of hold it like this. Not too hard but just softly. And then just blend it. And then I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I am going to put it on my inner half of my eye. And I'm going to use the um, Wet n Wild. It doesn't have a name but it's like the flat one. And it's very dense. So I'm going to get that shade and then I'm going to go in like this. And I'm going to kind of do it a little high. You guys can do a cut crease if you want, but I feel like this eye came out pretty good without it. So just go up. 
and then just kind of blend it out here and get a little more and then just pack it on I go back with a Morphe brush with no additional color and then just blend it out right here kind of go up a little bit and then I go back again with the wet and wild brush and then pick up some more of that color and then just kind of smoke it out there and then I'm going to go in with this shade right here and then I'm just going to get my um, Sephora brush and I'm just going to kind of just put it up here and just blend it out and I'm just going to um, highlight my brow bone and if you got too much you can go in with the um, your blending brush or whatever brush and then just kind of blend it out so it's not like a big blob just there so I'm gonna go in with my um, Batty B lashes this one's is these ones are an insta ho so and we're gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go in with my Avon pencil this one is the ultra luxury eyeliner and I'm just gonna um, line my top waterline here and then I'm gonna go in my waterline. I'm gonna put mascara on my eyelashes so that way it preps it for the falsies. I just apply one coat and I'm using my um, L'Oreal Telescopic mascara. The one that I always use. I go in with my e.l.f. Camel Concealer and this one I have is in medium beige. And while that is baking under my eyes, we're going to go in with the Koki Cosmetics Full Cover Foundation. And I am in the shade 60W. And then I'm going to take my favorite sponge of all time. You guys know my e.l.f. I think it's a body sponge. I'm not sure of the exact name. I'll link it down below, but it's the e.l.f. sponge. I'm going to go in and blend the concealer out. What I like to do with the concealer, you guys, I like to cut my eyeshadow so it's a little bit creased. You see how it cuts it and it just leaves it like sharp. So I'm going to go and set my eyes. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution um, Luxury um, Baking Powder in the shade Banana. I'm going to take my Sigma Tapered Brush and just tap a little bit on there and just put it under my eyes. Take my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation Powder. And this is in the shade Y365, and then I'm just going to take uh, my MAC brush, and this one is the um, 129 brush. And then I'm just going to tap it all over my face. This um, powder foundation, you guys, is really good, and is your skin looking good. Even, like, if you want to, don't want to wear, like, liquid foundation, this one is the way to go. And I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown bronzer, and this one is in the shade 3 Dark. This one, you guys, is really good. I love it. It's a little expensive, but it works really good. Um, and then I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light brush. And then I'm just going to tap it in here. I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Swish and Pop Blusher in the color um, The Climax. And then I'm going to take that same MAC brush, the 129 brush, and just dab it on my cheeks. And this is an oldie but a goodie of what I'm going to use. It's the Tiki Hard Candy Highlighter. Um, it's so pretty, you guys. Like, this one is an an old but a good product and then I'm gonna take the Sigma tapered brush again and then just gonna get some there it just gives you a beautiful like you see like subtle glow and then I like to put some on my nose then I'll just finish my eyes I'm gonna take the Morphe brush and I'm just gonna get those brown shades um, 
these two right here and just blend them under my eyes. Then I'm going to go in and do my lips. I'm going to take the NYX Lip Liner in Sandstorm. And then I'm going to take the MAC um, Velvet, Te Velvet Teddy Lipstick. The Velvet Teddy, you guys, is my favorite. I repurchased that so many times. And then lastly, I'm going to go in with my First Sally Skin Mist and the 24 Karat Gold Infused. And that completes this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and you guys liked it. Please leave me a comment down below, like this video, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one.